Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one right here is for Cobra Cat Season 3, Episode Number 6. And welcome to July, people. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. That continues to be the thing. Tell a friend to tell all your friends that we back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> um, one, A couple comments from the last episode. I don't even know how to do my job anymore. Um, don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, starting with executive producer Bjorn, who says, Hey, guys, I thought this episode was great. I love the way they reintroduced Chosen. The actor has one of the best mean faces I've ever seen. He basically played Daniel the entire time just to get back him a, at him with a honk. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see that he really changed over the years and taught Daniel this new technique in the end. The throwback to the little girl that Daniel saved back then and now she will save his business was genius. Yeah. Oh, so well done. Great. It's like you said, a lot of the stuff we see in the show could be cheesy as hell, but it's done in such a great way that it just makes sense. It feels organic and yeah. natural and yeah. like well planned. Uh, the prison fight was awesome and it just had to happen. It's just bad that Robbie learned that lesson from Crease. Yeah. Now the other fight at the laser tag place with Sam and Cobert Sam and Cobra Kai was awful. And seeing Hawk breaking Dimitri's arm was horrible. I love that you caught Hawk's look when he did it because they're, these two have been friends forever. He clearly knew that this was too much, but again, Cobra Kai teachings mess with your head. So let's see where this goes. Johnny and Miguel at the concert were hilarious. Love seeing progress with him tapping his foot. By the way, the guy singing was Dee Snyder, frontman of Twisted Sister. Yeah. They were a big rock band in the 80s. Yeah. Amanda slapping Crease was great to see. And finally, Johnny saw Allie's profile on Facebook. Let's hope Homelander doesn't find out or Johnny will be in big trouble. <laughs> big facts. Mm -hmm. uh, P.S. The actor who plays Samantha's little brother is the same actor from season one and two. He just grew up since we last saw. We were oh. like, oh, they recast him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jenny Boy, no more. Um, I feel like that's a, even like if you look at Jalen from a year ago, like he's an entirely different yeah, kid. Yeah, that's true. So. He grew up. Yeah. Uh, P.S. Oh, no. As always, great reaction, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Love you too, Buren. Thanks mm -hmm. for the comment. All right, then we got. Jeremy coming through. I had to remember if you're an uh, EP this month. <laughs> um, I really liked Chosen, which is interesting to say after all the attempted murders in Karate Kid too. I liked his interaction with Daniel and the new information he taught him. I also love that they brought the girl that Daniel saved back, and now she can help save his company. I thought that was really well done. Yeah. I don't love that Robbie is getting advice from Kreese. I wish Johnny was the one showing up and giving the advice. Same. I agree that the kids fighting each other and continuously escalating things is not going to make anything better, but I also get that Sam just wanted the bullying to stop, with Hawk and the rest of Cobra Kai constantly attacking them and coming after them over and over again. I also like that the show is dealing with PTSD with Sam after the trauma of being attacked, scared, and watching Miguel nearly die. Now she is dealing with a lot of issues of PTSD, like lashing out at the girls talking about her in the first episode of the season, trying to fight Cobra Kai, and the panic attack. I love that Amanda went straight to Crease to tell him to back off or she will go to the police. Hopefully they can stop him because he's turning his students into soldiers and it's escalating a lot with Hawk breaking Dimitri's arm. Although it did look like Hawk didn't feel good about that. Great reaction. Right. I look forward to the next one. Alright, All right, let's get into the next one right now. That's not the song they use for this. This is great. Johnny, Johnny. Man, you're a kid. She is a beauty. All right, all right. Come on, give it back. Hey, Twig, come look at this. <laughs> you can call me that. Uh, yeah, maybe get a little muscle on the street branches and we'll talk. Yeah, he's got a point, Twig. Well, who's that? Johnny's girl back home. Mm -hmm. mm. Smell that perfume? Keep, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smell them there. Hey, tell her to sell them for me, would you? One of the dreams, crap. Grace. <laughs> Yes, sir. Some captains in there asking for you. Uh, good luck. Well, your CEO tells me you're a real go-getter. Volunteering to walk point. Join ambush teams. You got a death wish, kid? Not wishing for it, just 
Not afraid of it. Yeah, right. Some people can't tell the difference. Yeah. And any idea how many men we have in this hell hole? You know? Yeah. Probably half a million. Most of them don't make a damn bit of difference. But you, you can make a difference. So I'm here, sir. Mm -hmm. Defend my country. Be a hero. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Because I'm forming a team. We'll work out a CCN. Direct action missions into North Vietnam. This is the real war. We'll go sterile in triple canopy jungle. No insignias, no ID. The team will be you, me, and a few specialists. I know a couple guys, sir. I'll train you myself. Guerrilla tactics, demolitions, hand to hand combat. What kind of hand to hand are we talking about, sir? Well, you want to defeat your enemy, you gotta learn how to fight like your enemy. So I learned Tom Sun Do during the Korean War under Master Kim Sung Young. You'll learn the same. If you think you can handle it. Goddamn right I can. Goddamn right I can. Sir. Sir. I can make it through until you get to the Two scars. Maybe even a battlefield commission to boot. Yeah, if I don't make it through. Well, then you'll show up on some MIA list in 30 years when they declassify all this shit. I'm asking you. It's crazy how things change. I remember when we used to see each other every day. Now I don't even know the first thing about you. Who are you now? Your profile is pretty bare. What are you up to these days? Allie. Ma, I just got a new job working for the seven. What are you up to these days? Allie. Nice no, that was Allie talking. Now Johnny has to respond. Mom, the conquering hero has returned. Hey, wait till I tell you what happened over there. It was truly amazing. And I come bearing gifts. Oh. I got this Randisaru bag oh, for yeah, Sam and these crazy Kit Kats for Anthony. Soy sauce as a Kit Kat flavor. I know, I know. It shouldn't work, but it does. Oh, and I thought next weekend we could go up to wine country. Just you and you I. Miss hey, trip. guys, come down. Uh, the kids are at your mother's. Oh. Huh. My mother's what? What happened? John Kreese. What? Man, Man, it was so sick. Tori was just kicking Sneak. ass. I took care of Chris. <laughs> oh, and Hockey got that baby. You're trying to make that sound dramatic, babe. That's baby. Cold blooded. No mercy. <laughs> Yeah, First of all, babe, why you ain't call me? You know the phone can work. Yeah, but they got the right. there for me to get to Miguel. <laughs> you ain't fucking text me or call me now. I would call you. Right. What the fuck going on over here? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, look at this freak. Oh, what a girl would ever do Oh, oh. that guy. Welcome our new students. Guys, uh, chode nose and taint breath. The hell, you just say? Oh, well, uh, nothing. Just a, just a thing we do around here sometimes. Hey. Sensei, I don't think these guys are cover cow material. Weren't you the one saying that we should get new recruits? <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, look, I know some of these guys, and, and they're natural athletes, which is exactly what's been missing in our dojo. Yes, Everyone's fall in. Okay, now I got some kids. Kid. Now you want to, you've been bullying people. Now your bullies are bad. Yeah, joining Cobra Kai. Some it's only the bully getting bullied. It's not a gift, which is why our recruits must earn their position in this dojo. Hmm. Prepare yourselves for combat. Oh, wait, is this motherfucker? Only the strong. Oh, shit, bro. I, I want him. I want, I want Sonic. You ready or what? I mean, this, this is ridiculous. What's ridiculous about it? I look like a giant baby. Well, you're whining and not walking. You might as well be a baby. Isn't there a more badass way we can do this? You think tapping your foot at a concert makes you ready for badass training? Your legs are still pressing. Makes you ready for badass training. Are you ready to stand? <laughs> yes. Okay. One, two, three. 
three. All right, better fall that time. Let's take five. Put mat under there if you need them or something. You know that badass trainer? Mom's been talking about you a lot recently. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, what's she thank you for uh, taking me to that concert. She say anything else? You writing a novel? You fucking would have liked that. Alright, so. Come on, hat wheels. Something wrong? Ashley, an emergency protective order has already been filed. Really? Your daughter. Uh. Oh, good. Yeah, it, it's against you, man. What? what? <coughs> you shook my tooth, bitch. You needed braces anyway. <laughs> good job, Nichols. You know the truth. Hopefully not. Nichols. That she don't strike me as a Nichols. Sorry. You, big boy. Oh, big boy. Oh yeah. All right. Who's going down next? Let's go. Nichols, what show you playing on? You think you're all right? Get him lit. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can fix that lippy or shit. Chicken cacciatore. You should try dipping your friend in the mm. this stuff. Mm. 
Yeah. Very good. So, why am I here? Well, we just want to talk a little business. You know we don't talk business. I don't trust car salesmen. So I can't make a deal with you. Well, how about you do a deal with me? Hmm. <laughs> you have a proposal for me, darling? It's a business proposal, not the indecent kind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, let me hear what you guys say. I want you to evict a tenant in your receipt as drug moment. Mm. Oh, is this about uh, snake karate? Why would I evict snake him? Snake karate? Excellent tenant. Much better than the last guy. No, he's a danger to our community. He's well, unstable. He's, he's unpredictable. So, his rent is predictable. Mm -hmm. He pays on time all the time. Okay, and just out of curiosity, how much is that rent exactly? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Uh, it would be, how you say, uh, unethical. Yeah. We'll double it. A man. Nuclear option. But she, she... Oh, but I want uh, yeah. triple. If all we want is Crease to be gone, then you can rent out the space to another tenant. Ah. The double dip. The double mm. dip. I like the double dip. Yeah. Mm. Double dipping all up in this casserole. Deal. We want them out by tomorrow. All right, no problem. Tomorrow. Anyway, it was great doing business with one of you. <laughs> I doubled it. Okay. Deal. That's all you need to tell me. You, you got to make this whole fucking deal of meal and shit. You going to give me more money? Get it. Get to go play though, because it's possible to get a fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that was so long ago, too. That's like the only thing it seems like he kept in his brain. Same thing Josh just stuck in the eighties. Go south and they don't know where we are. It's on you. Ponytail's in position. All right, we're live. Please, Chris, when he clears, you light him up. Shit! Shit! Oh, he's going down! Just take him off so we can get the hell out of here. Eric! Recall! Every time. My nephews are going to help you leave, whether you like it or not. I'm just clean the blood off that mat. Oh well. Focus. Come on, this is worse than yesterday. You weren't even trying. What's the problem? You saw your ex. Big deal. Big deal. Dude, look at you. We spent all day doing bullshit for your ex, trying to make you look like someone you're not. That's when I saw my ex, I told her how things really were. All right, you done with your little hissy fit? Or are you just giving up? You are. What'd you say? You're the one giving up. I don't know what the hell. Quiet! You let Chris take your dojo. You let Hawk and Tori and everyone else think you're weak. Because it was a mistake to begin with. I should have never brought back Cobra Kai. Look what happened. And what happened? You helped a bunch of people and then walked away like a pussy. That much, dude. I want to thank you again for your business, Mrs. <laughs> Carroll. Now, while your car is being serviced, I want to hook you up with an Enterprise rental. Very classy. My man, Anush, over here is going to help you pick out something special. He's new and a little slow, so forgive him if he's not as polished as me. I trained you. You were the garbage man in the break room. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. He's the owner's cousin. Yes. It's, Looks like our ducks are finally in the world. Like, I don't want this drama. Yeah. 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 I already have it. Yeah. 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 How should we celebrate? I was thinking maybe like a banner that says, I told you so. Uh -huh. All right. Go ahead. Get it out of your system. Mm -hmm. Come on. I don't know, babe. All I'm saying is we're getting a little bit out of control here on this one. Um, legality wise, uh, they the Russos played it right, 
right? Just that's real world what will be happening. And TV wise, what we're doing here, Chris in his insane brain is turning this into the Vietnam War again in his brain with kids. And so it, it, it you know, it's it's entertaining to say the least, you know, but to bring the, the, the guy over there with the contract to break for him to be gone, legally he should have just been gone, right? I mean, he should have just called the cops. Yeah, he just called the police. You don't bring your goons in there to try to damn do what they do and then, you know, you have to fight. But okay, that's where we at with it now. Absolute war. So we're basically gearing up to have uh, Miyagi-Do going to have to suit up to go against them. But let's do it in a, in a more professional way. Tournament, duh. And so we can stop doing this this thug gang life out here in the street, what they doing, and with, you know, snakes, and just everybody just really being out of control. Um, this was a good episode, though. I mean, just a, a very entertaining, once again, the whole first half and all that good stuff. Um, uh, my boy being able to walk again, that's great. Uh, but the, the, the Cobra Kai, man, they are 100% becoming super evil and super villains of this whole thing. And Kreese is the head of that snake, for sure. And it's 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 getting a little out of control, but yet still entertaining. I can't wait to see where it goes. Um, so I loved everything with the John, uh, Johnny, Ali, and Miguel parts of this episode. I loved uh, going to take the pictures. I thought that was great. I loved Miguel like panicking because Johnny liked every single one of Ali's pictures, and then the long text. I like all of those conversations because they're so realistic and it aligns so well with. Johnny being super disconnected for so many years from social media and everything that's technology based. So I love when those things pop up again because they do it so organically. Again, something that could come across really cheesy and corny in other shows, they handle it with grace and make it seem very realistic. So I loved yeah. all of that. I loved Miguel also standing up to Johnny as far as calling him out for like giving up and just relenting what Cobra Kai was to Crease and really not putting any fight at all um, up for it um, and some, simply allowed him to come in and do what he's done um, to to Cobra Kai. Um, everything in reference to Crease, though, I totally agree with you. I did like seeing where the motivation came from and where his trauma initially started from and this is why he has no mercy because ultimately because he hesitated, his friend got shot, which is really sad and, like, definitely sad. But I don't understand why he has this vendetta with these high school kids. Like, it wasn't high school kids that you, like, that essentially took out your best friend. Like, you were in a war. Like, this is a war setting. Yeah. Um, so I don't, get, I don't get the mentality around his obsession with wanting to create this organization now too but I mean he did have Cobra Kai back in the day so like he took some years off and I guess this is the only thing that motivates him is like pitting people against each other and like killing kids or something he's <laughs> so like he's he's crazy um I think similarly to what Miguel said to Tori as far as like you need help like and he meant it in like therapy like you have trauma Crease needs that a thousand percent over but I feel like at this point it might be too late for that yeah um and I, I do I do appreciate though, although our, all Armand had to do was call the police because he is like the police would have supported him because that's he's in his right to kick tenants out, I think. Um, but the fact that he didn't do that set that up. But I do like that they're making Crease seem very difficult to take down. Like they're making it show that he's like will not be taken down. Um, the snakes in the the showroom was ridiculous like how they even get them in there they don't have any keys like that like that was just throw that in there at the end just to show yeah. like the threat or whatever um but i thought it was interesting this episode we didn't see robbie and we didn't see sam because they were focused they're outside so we still got to bring them back yeah. in and i think we only have two episodes left so very curious to see how the the this season ends a lot of drama but as always super entertaining really enjoyed it yeah all right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Cobra Kai, Season 3, Episode 6, and until next time.